is the clavicle. The clavicle is an S-shaped bone. It has landmarks and features, but all you have to do is recognize that this is the clavicle, kind of S-shaped. Now we have the scapula. The scapula is the shoulder part of the shoulder bone, and um, there are a few regions that we need to be aware of. First, the glenoid fossa or the glenoid cavity. This is the socket that the arm bone or humerus fits in. Um, in life, this is all filled in with soft tissue to form a nice socket. But when, we, when all that soft tissue is gone, all we can really point to is this is this little smooth depressed area is the glenoid fossa and this whole area is the glenoid cavity. Um, next we have the scapular spine. You can see that it rises up here. That's the scapular spine. The scapular spine terminates in the acromion process. This is the acromion process, the termination of the scapular spine. Across the way here, we have the coracoid process. Acromion process, the coracoid process. Superior to the scapular spine is the supraspinous fossa. Inferior to it is the infraspinous fossa, this region right here. Um, this is the posterior aspect of the um, scapula. So I'm going to turn this over and we'll see the anterior aspect of it. The anterior aspect also has a depressed area. This is called the subscapular fossa. This is the way the <coughs> um, scapula looks posteriorly. The spine points posteriorly. And anteriorly you have a real flat smooth surface. 